what is up YouTube so um, today I'm gonna be making a quick video um, what I'm doing is I'm starting my project actually for my software 2 class I'm not actually gonna do too many videos on this code because um, it's not something I really want to put out there on YouTube but um, because I'm going back and forth between my laptop and my computer I ran into a few issues that I thought were worth uh, making a video on um, so as you can see right now what I did is I created my project basically on my laptop I put it in github and then I cloned it from github onto my main computer and when I go to open it this is this is what I get there's all kinds of errors um, and you know none of my job FX stuff is working again it's gonna be similar to that FX um, or that runtime error that I video I showed basically when you first start out you're not gonna have any configurations here so you gotta add them you can just go to your templates and what you want to do for this one is just gonna, it's gonna be an application and um, so for the main class you're just gonna it usually let you know it'll like kinda show you which one but you just want to put your main class in there which everyone's gonna have um, you know the, the starting point of your program your VM options uh, give me one second are gonna be the same as in that JavaFX video um, I got them saved over here somewhere I'm just gonna copy and paste them in there alright that's that um, JRE this is basically just gonna be like what you're using so it's gonna be uh, is that supposed to be the library or is that just going to be the actual, yeah I think I can just do that so I want uh, Java 11 this button, hit application then it's all the all everything's going to be there and then you can press apply, press ok that should get uh, that should get that set up so that's the first thing you got to do after that you go back into your file structure and kind of similar things that I, I showed on the other one um, as you can see I have a bunch of different um, Java uh, JDKs here, or SDKs, the standard Java development kit. Um, I mean, I think it's just a standard development kit, and then there's the Java development kit, but whatever, I have a whole bunch of them, you can see. Um, one thing I did find out that was kind of interesting, <laughs> if you start a project in one, um, in one version, basically, it's going to give you an error if you try to switch between the two. So I started this project in... Java, I think I, I started in the SDK um, 15, and then I went back to 11 because my school wanted me to do it in 11. So it started giving me an error. Yeah, so this is the error that I was talking about, basically. Uh, this Java error release version 15 not supported. So to fix that... Mm, So inside of here, inside my mix XML, let's see if I can just open it with WordPad. So you can see right here where it says the Java language is JDK 15. I'm just going to change that to 11. So if I save that, uh, if I hit save now, I close that, then I can come back into here. I should be able to run it, and it'll no longer give me that error. It's probably going to give me some other, yeah, give me a bunch of other crazy errors, but that error goes away. The version is no longer an issue, and now I'm just running into driver issues, but not a big deal. That fixes the that other error, which is what I wanted to show. Uh, also, for this one, because I am... Um, for this one, I can actually search for a repository in Maven, or Maven, however you say it, uh, MySQL. This project is going to be actually connecting to a database, so I'll have to be using this, which is kind of cool. Um, along with that, there is another file that needs to be added as a library, which that should be there now. So yeah, the other thing is um, this if it shows up now oh, yeah, yeah so this uh, connector j.8 this one right here this jar file that's gonna have to be in there if you're connecting to a database you'll need my SQL connector um, so 
That's going to be a library. That's going to be my library. That's going to be there. That's fine. I want 11. Apply. Okay. All right. So that basically, that basically clears it all up. That I guess the point where you can start running stuff. All right. What's up? One more, uh, one more error that I found that you can fix pretty quickly, uh, which I don't know if I've covered one of my other videos or not. Is this warning you get down here? Where it says loading FXML document with Java API version 16 by JavaFX runtime of version 11. Again, that's because I've been bouncing back and forth between so many versions. If you want that to go away, you can go into your actual FXML document here. Um, and then on the very first line, the anchor plan or whatever, the, whatever your first line is, just kind of scroll over until you see this uh, F, uh, XM LNS whatever, you'll see this long text here where it says javafx.com slash javafx. Uh, it'll have the version at the end, so it's showing 16. Just change that to whatever version you're using. Change it to 11. And then um, let me close this. If you change that to 11 and then you run it again, you'll see that that's no longer there. So that's that. Just quick little fixes I'm finding for uh, issues that pop up that might help some of you guys out.